Chinese military forces are conducting drills around Taiwan for a third day. Taiwan's defense ministry says it's detected 11 Chinese warships and 59 aircraft around the island. 39 entered Taiwan's air defense zones on Monday morning. Well, these are some of the latest images of the drills released by China's military and shown on the country's state television. The Chinese display of force has added to tension between China and the United States. And just to say that the U.S. Navy has said that it has sailed a guided missile destroyer through contested waters claimed by China near the Spratly Islands to assert navigational passage rights. With the latest on those drills, here's our correspondent, Shah Mahalil in Tokyo. Drills which China calls Operation Joint Surge. We are hearing from China, from Taiwan, from Japan, and from the United States. And all the lines that we're getting point to extremely heightened tension around uh, Taiwan. We know, we understand from Japanese uh, uh, Defense Ministry uh, that the Shandong, which had already passed through Taiwan's waters uh, hours after the Taiwanese president met uh, with the U.S. House um, Speaker of the House of Representatives um, on Friday, now we know that the aircraft carrier, the Shandong, has conducted air operations in water close to Okinawa. We understand that jet fighters and helicopters took off and landed on the carrier about 140 times between Friday and Sunday. We also understand from the Taiwanese uh, Ministry of Defense that they have spotted 11, um, 11 ships, uh, 11 warships, 59 military planes, and as you say, almost 40, about 39, have crossed into um, Taiwan's, Taiwan's airspace. All of that, of course, is in the context of China's anger, its response to the Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen meeting um, Kevin McCarthy. They see this as U.S. Interf interference in what they um, see as China's internal policy. But of course, Taiwan wants, uh, wants closer ties with the United States. The Taiwanese President at the time said that Taiwan was glad that it wasn't isolated. But what we're seeing now is China essentially coming out on its promise of reprisals after that meeting. Um, and Sham, I wonder what you can tell us, please, a little bit more detail about the um, U.S. destroyer, the USSS um, Milaios, who has, well, Millions. it's effectively uh, asserted its naval passage rights. What's China's response been to that? That's right. While China is displaying that strong... Uh, force, a uh, show of force, these different uh, weapons, while, while it's essentially surrounding Taiwan uh, with these drills coming from the air, from the sea, and also they're practicing um, they're practicing blockade drills. The United States has said that a U.S. guided missile destroyer is, por is performing operations in the South China Sea, a very problematic area, of course, because large of it, um, large parts of it are claimed by Beijing. The U.S. Navy uh, said that its guided missile destroyer, Milius, performed what Washington calls freedom of navigation operation in the South China Sea. So it is heightened tension now with China in a way asserting its presence around Taiwan, but then the United States also asserting its military presence in the South China Sea.